Start your build. Do not get overwhelmed. Have a plan. You're not on a deadline. Do not quit. Do something every day. Have small goals. Craigslist is your friend. Make lists. Always finish the project you're on before you worry about the next one. One of the awesome things about building your own truck is the fact that you built your own truck. You didn't drive down to the dealership, pick it off the lot, drive it home. You built it with your own hands. You know everything about it inside and out. You can fix it when you're out on the trail. It's your truck. It reflects your personality. That said, that's not an easy thing to do. It's a select group of people who will accomplish that. And the fact that you're watching this video shows me that you are one of those people. You've sought this out. So I am gonna share with you my 10 tips that I utilized on a daily basis to make sure that I finished my build. I got discouraged. I got beat down. I got exhausted. I ran out of money. My wife ran out of patience. But utilizing these 10 tips is what enabled me to finish my build and get to the promised land. I want the same thing for you guys. Remember, you've got to commit and you cannot quit. But in all seriousness, get started. Don't stop till it's done. Merrick's Garage. Step number one, start your build. If you have a project you've been dreaming about, for years and months. If you've been watching my channel and thinking, I wish I could do that. Stop wishing and start doing. Start small. Start tiny. Start with planning. Just start. This video has been in the back of my mind for a long time and I haven't really figured out the best way to, to shoot it and edit it. And so I decided to just start talking to the camera. I'm just starting on this video, just like you should just start on that build. Remember, if you don't start the project, it's never gonna be done. Merrick's Garage, top tech tip. Number one, have a plan. Even if you are not starting your project yet due to various things, money, parts, time, whatever, spend your evening, spend free time just kicking around ideas of what you wanna do. I'm talking about everything. So if you have a plan to redo your harness in your truck, have a plan to address lights, have a plan to address accessories that you're gonna to want to install later on and plan it all out. The amount of times I spent money I didn't need to spend and did stuff I didn't need to do because I didn't have a fully formed plan, man, I could have saved so much money because with a plan, you have contingencies for all the options that you might run into. You can go through the plan as you're progressing through the project and correlate the two and see if you're on track. You can make sure that you haven't forgotten anything because you've spent the previous three months brainstorming exactly how you're gonna do that project. You have all the parts you're gonna need, you have all the little parts you're gonna need, and you're gonna know how to do it. So having a plan is crucial. Just blasting in there, hoping to get something done will lead to disappointment. With a plan, you're also gonna develop to-do lists. Merrick's Garage top tech tip number three. Do something every day. It's that simple. Do something every day. It can be small, it can be big, but just do something every day. These projects can feel in the beginning, they can feel overwhelming. Heck, halfway through, they feel overwhelming. By doing something every day, you're able to make the project not feel as daunting. You're basically minimizing the amount of downtime you have, the amount of time to drift away from the project, the amount of time to let the project sit before you get around to working on it again. Now, I'm not saying it's gotta be something significant every day. In fact, most days, all I did was tighten some screws, spray some paint, or make a list of what I had to get done that weekend. But I did something every day that kept me motivated to keep working on the truck. Otherwise, you're gonna be one of those guys posting your project on Craigslist. 
And I'm gonna give one of those guys swooping in and buying your parts for pennies on the dollar. So don't be that guy. Make lists, lots and lots of lists. I made a list for every little project I did with many, many, many steps. So I could be sure that I was making progress, I could be sure I was getting everything done, and I could be sure that I was staying motivated. Because by checking off all these things on my list, I was motivated to keep going on to the next one. Lists are crucial. Make the things small on the list. They don't need to be big things. This ties into everything else I've been saying. Stay motivated. Do not quit. Make lists. Check them off. Move on to the next one. Repeat. Merrick's Garage, top tech tip number B. Have small goals. Large goals are fine, but small goals will help keep you motivated. You can check them off rather easily. You can have success with them and they will help make the project not feel overwhelming. Large goals, while accomplishing a lot of stuff, take a long time to achieve and therefore can make you despair that you're never gonna be done. Having small attainable goals, and I'm talking, you know, you can have three or four goals in a day's worth of work. That really helps you stay motivated and at the end of the day, instead of focusing on what you haven't got done, you're able to look back at all the things you did get done. If you're sensing a theme here, it's that staying motivated throughout the build is a huge factor in finishing the build. Merrick's Garage top tech tip. Letter seven, always finish the project you're on before you worry about the next one. This serves two purposes. First of all, you don't get distracted and bounce from project to project to project to project, working on everything but not getting anything done. And it helps you have an orderly, methodic approach to finishing your project. If you constantly bounce across the truck trying to do 10 things at once, you're gonna find yourself highly disappointed that you get nothing done. Pick something, deal with it, finish it. Don't worry about the next part of the project. That will take care of itself when you get to it. Focus on what you're doing at that moment, and do it the best you can. Merrick's Garage top tech tip. What number are we on? 37. Letter F. Anyway, this is more of a state of mind than a tech tip. Do not quit. Do not stop until the project is done. It's that simple. If you do not stop and do not quit, you will finish your project. If you quit or if you stop, you will not finish your project. Deep Thoughts by Merrick's Garage. Merrick's Garage, top tech tip. Status 14. Do not get overwhelmed by the technical challenges. Remember, this isn't rocket science. You're not doing anything that people haven't done many, many times before. So if you run into a problem, take a breath, take a step back, and sleep on it. You will solve it, and you will progress and move forward. I had many times when I didn't think I was gonna be able to finish the project because of some drama that popped up that I didn't think I was gonna be able to fix. Well, nothing I was doing was that extraordinarily difficult. So if I ran into a problem, taking a break, regrouping, doing some Google internet searching, get back at it, always fix the problem. So don't give up. Merrick's Garage, top tech tip, part four. You're not on a deadline. Don't worry about finishing within a deadline. This isn't Gas Monkey Garage. You don't have to get this build finished tomorrow. So take your time, slow down, do it right, and enjoy it. A lot of the fun is doing the build. So don't be in a hurry to rush through it. Take your time, and all will be good. But don't quit, ever. Craigslist is your friend. So are the forums where there is a for sale or trade. I recognize that building a truck hinges largely upon having the parts to build it. But I used Craigslist 
and the pirate forums and CK5 forums extensively. You don't need to buy new for everything. Yes, there are a lot of things that you do need to buy new. But there's a lot of stuff that you don't. In my suspension video, I went into junkyards. Tires can be bought from forums because tons of people are constantly switching tires. Buy something, sell something, trade something, scour your local junkyard. You'd be amazed at what you can get for a really, really good deal. Merrick's Garage top tech tip status yellow. Hit subscribe, hit like, drop me a comment down below letting me know what tips and tricks you guys have. And tune in next time.